is going on youtube all right if you follow hockey at all you know the san jose sharks are looking terrible this year like i was almost starting to think they weren't gonna win a single game they got a few wins on the board now but it really has me wondering what if the san jose sharks got sent down to the ahl which i did a video on here but then their minor league team the san jose barracuda came up to replace them in the nhl do you think they might do better I mean, probably not right but maybe but we're gonna use nhl to find out how good the san jose barracuda would do if they got called up to the nhl i got a serious question for you what do you think san jose's record in the nhl is going to be at the end of this year i was starting to think they weren't going to win 10 games now i'm gonna and now i think i'm gonna give them like 13 I guess they're gonna win 13 games in the end but will they win the draft lottery i bet they won't it's got a weird feeling and then one more question what is the san jose barracuda's record gonna be if i put them in the nhl on the game here i just there's no way they win 10 games right well let's go find out and see what they're looking like first order of business is to head into season mode here we're going in the nhl we're sliding down to san jose here we're clicking square to substitute team out we're gonna go find the ahl real quick here wait where are they all right when i go to search the ahl isn't in here for substitute teams so i'm gonna have to go do like roster moves and just and just put all the players from the barracuda onto the sharks i guess yeah i guess that's what we'll do all right we got the san jose sharks over here we got the barracuda over here let's uh start swapping some players All right, I think we got her figured out here. We're looking really good. All right, now the Sharks or the Barracuda, I guess, are 73 overall here in the Pacific Division. They're a little bit lower than the other teams, okay? But I got a lot of faith in them. All right, the moment of truth here. Let's go see what the lineup looks like. Oh, wow. You know, this can't be much worse th than what the Sharks had anyways, right? Giovanni Smith, Ryan Carpenter, and Tristan Robbins leading the way on the first line. Thomas Bordalo, Jacob Peterson, and Daniel Gushkin on the second line. Adam Raska, Mitchell Russell, and Nathan Todd on the third line. Ozzy Wiesblatt, Scott Sabarin, and Brandon Cooey on the fourth line. We're looking really, really good. 10 win season incoming. Back in, we got Nikolai Nizov and Nick Sishek. I don't know if I said that right. And we got Radim Simek and a Jacob McDonald. And Nikita Oka. Yep, not gonna attempt that one. And Leon Gawanki. Probably wrong as well. And then in net, we got E2 McAniemi and Joseph Corin. Honestly, I don't think the goaltending situation is much worse than they already had on San Jose. And here we are, our first meeting of the year for the Barracuda. We got the Vegas uh -huh. Golden Knights here. Not ideal to run into the squad. And it's a 4 0 oh. loss, but you know, could have been a lot worse. Outs were 44 to 24. We'll take it. Game two is a 3 1 loss to Colorado as well. And, and again, like, it could have been a lot worse, you know. Out shot 43 to 20, but will these guys get a win here? I'm gonna, we're gonna slow it down until they can get their first win on the board here lost to carolina 3-1 we got boston can we do it no we can't 5-2 loss we got the nashville predators here can we do it yes we can a three nothing win against the nashville predators the barracuda are on the board one and four record all right let's speed this process up and uh, go month by month here and hold up at the end of the first month the should the, the the barracuda are four and five wow. right now big win against florida they beat tampa bay a 6-5 loss to carolina and then a 3-1 win a 3-1 win win against the capitals down here hold up we might be on to something here san jose is probably i'm probably going to be getting a call from ownership right away i think i know the solution leading the team in points we got thomas bordola with seven points here in nine games the knees off on the back end with six points in nine games we'll do a quick scroll through here and see if there's anyone jumping out and you know no one's doing too much it's well spread out right now in net so far mackie emmy has been standing on his head he's got four and three record with a two shutouts a nine 52 save percentage and a 186 GAA. Guy really is uh, just doing it all for the squad right now. Cornar's numbers aren't looking too hot. I mean, I... I... I, I'm surprised I wasn't expecting like four wins a, a total, but that's uh, we're at the start of November here So let's see uh, how the squad's looking at the start of December here. Let's uh, fly on through this I mean damn, you know 8 14 and 1 This is better than the Sharks are doing right now in real life They mixed in a win against Philadelphia Mixed in a win against Vegas 3-2 Big shootout win against Florida there Let's gonna ignore the 10-1 loss to the Capitals there Ovechkin must have had a night We got Bortolo still leading the way here with 14 points in 23 games Akiniemi still having pretty solid numbers in net there. He probably doesn't get much help, and he probably takes a lot of shots every game. All right, entire league standings. Are we in dead last? No, we are 
god the ottawa senators are three points behind us granted they have six less games played give them that okay we're, we're tied with the la kings down here right there with seattle like you know these guys these guys are really leaving it all out there let's give a quick similar head to the new year and see what we're looking like though huh? you know it, it can't be this good the whole time right damn and a tough one win december guys we're 9 27 and 1 and our one win in december was on the very first of the month against the new jersey devils there and we're on a bit we're on a bit of a skid to say the least you take a look at our last 10 there oh 10 and oh mitchell Bruh. russell and he's got to do something about that hair leading the way with 20 points in 37 games the guys you know after that great start they're really they're really falling off here but they're so close to double digits right now will this kid keep going or can they can, can they grease out that double digit win let's head into february and take another look where we're at they done did it 11 38 and 2 in on february 1st here picked up a win against ottawa 5-4 last month and a win against buffalo 4-2 there i mean 11 wins for an ahl squad playing in the nhl is absolutely absurd let's keep let's be completely honest okay it is it is leading the way Danelle gushkin has 27 points in 51 games the scoring must be really spread out here then we got borlo in second russell in third here and we'll take a quick look through you know no one's really no one's really doing too hot that is for sure scotty saber in seven points in 51 games out of boy knees off on the back end uh, for the d with a minus 38 plus minus yeah, I don't I don't think you want to be minus 38. But leading the entire league, we got Nikita Kucherov on top with Point and Marner right there as well. What I'm most concerned about is the plus minus department. It looks like we have a lot of the leaders. We got Carpenter, Nizov, Sitchek, Robin, Smith. And then we got Rasmus Anderson to break up our streak there. We got the top five worst plus minuses in the league. Not too bad. Good work. We got to take a quick look at the goalies, of course. McAniemi's kind of flattened out a little bit. He's got an 828 and two record, three shoutouts. It's 905 save percentage and a 369 GAA. You know, that's pretty good for the team he's got in front of him. Hornar's got an 894 save percentage with a 411 GAA. Let's head to the end of the year final record 17 63 and 2 way more wins than i expected a couple tough losses to end february there an 8-2 to the ducks and a 10-1 to the devils jacob peterson ends up leading the squad in points with 44 and 82 games all right we're heading to the standings here if you can take a look at who's on top but let's just scroll all the way down and see and see if the boys uh, uh, no never mind oh man and it's not even close 36 points for the sharks the islanders in second last was 73 <laughs> damn quick look at goals against per game uh category here we're letting over four goals in a game that's not ideal no power play percentage of 11 percent peterson gushin and bordolo leading the way in the points department with 44 44 and 43 more importantly though knees off ending with a minus 65 plus minus carpenter right there with a 62 sishak with a 56 quite impressive honestly good golf numbers which is where they're about to be heading mackinney emmy ending the year with a 12 47 two record still there's three shoutouts his save percentage drop below 900 395 gaa him and corner actually have fairly similar numbers in the end here all right that's the end of the regular season obviously since we're simming here we got we got to go see who wins the stanley cup so before we find out who wins the stanley cup who do you guys think right here let's go take a look at the bracket all right call me crazy guys but i got the toronto maple leafs uh, coming out of the east there and i got the colorado avalanche coming out of the west right here that's my bet before i do all this let's see what happens here you guys want to guess with me comment below i'll give you a couple seconds to do so while I stare into your soul. All right, let's see what happens here. Well, my prediction isn't happening. Colorado got knocked out by the Dallas Stars. Toronto did beat the Lightning in seven, though. Matchups, we got the Jets, the Stars on the West, along with the Oilers and the Knights. We got the Rangers in Columbus with Toronto and New Jersey playing. All right, after that round, we got the Oilers in Dallas on the West, and then we got the Rangers and the Leafs on the East there. I, you know, I said the Leafs were going to make it at least. It's an absolute absurd thing to say from anyone, right? Like, that's just never going to happen, dude. They're, they're never pulling it off, ever. I got another question for y'all who is the next canadian team that will win the stanley cup like who's set up best right now to do it a lot of people probably would say toronto and before the year started i would say edmonton but the way they're looking right now is vancouver gonna do it all right the finals matchup is set we got dallas we got toronto who's taking it here toronto's doing it on this video game i know they want them to take it i'm going toronto
and I'm wrong. Dallas Stars Cup winners. I can actually see that happening, dude. The Stars are unreal this year. And there it is, guys. That is how the San Jose Barracuda would do if they replaced the Sharks in the NHL. Honestly, I think that, you know, the, the way the video game is looking, they do about just as good, which is insane. Anyways, guys, if you enjoyed this kind of video, make sure to hit that like button. Leave a comment below talking about hockey or something. I don't care. <laughs> and hit that subscribe button for more. Appreciate you all so much, guys. Have a great day.